<laughs> yeah, this game sure is fun, guys. But you know what? When we're taking a break from the ocean, why don't we dive into our youth group Bibles and learn to survive with our friend Jesus? <laughs> I don't know if that's my best opening bit. <laughs> it's the only one I came up with. And like the last five immediately <laughs> It made me laugh. <laughs> That's all I care about. That's all I need to check something. Listen, sometimes sometimes the jokes are just for me, you know. Sometimes the only person here is juice. So I don't feel I don't I'm not worried about like scaring peop new people away. I'm like, no. Oh, I will simply do <laughs> the dumbest possible joke <laughs> that comes to mind. What go? What about scaring me away? Uh, not. I mean, I don't think anything scarier to you than the ocean pig. So, if you're gonna be okay watching me play Subnautica instead of doing it yourself, then we'll be fine. Hey. You know who else lived off of fish? <laughs> the apostles. So why don't we open up our youth group? <laughs> okay, that might be. I was trying to think of one more after Pig asked. I had to. I had. I, I wanted to think of oh, just just one more. Just one more. I was thinking of. <laughs> in Subnautica, you have to swim through the water to get somewhere. But my pal Jesus, <laughs> he had a bit of a different way of doing things. To be clear, this is not me legitimately evangelizing as much as it is me having all the fun with, with people trying to make topical references. In theological talk, what have you, etc., etc. I make that clarification because I've made these jokes before, and a while ago, Juice was like, "Oh, that wasn't you being serious," and I was like, "Of course it wasn't." In my defense, <laughs> no, you don't I'm get a defense. <laughs> yeah, same. But when I say, "Hey guys, do you know who the greatest victory royale of all time is?" Jesus, you should be like, you know what? I don't think he was being serious about that. <laughs> Look, I thought it was just a funny joke. A funny joke? And that you were maybe being serious. No. Nah. I was thinking Give of. Me both. <laughs> yeah, the Apostle Simon got a cool Fortnite skin when Jesus said he'd be known as Peter. So why don't we. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to walk into the sea. Literally. I mean, that's the point of the game. Yeah, that's the point of the game. I forget who I, I was. Oh, it was Oak. I asked Oak on stream about their experience at the sea. I, if if I had my way, I would start make setting up a, a, a sustainable living boat to to be my permanent residence. But that would take a lot, and also a way to earn money while I'm on there. <laughs> hey guys, do you know who else was uh, Poggers? Was it nighttime when we left before? I don't think it was, yes. but it no, was. shut up. It was nighttime because yeah. you just watched the um, sunbeam get Oh, sunbeamed. you're right. Yeah, but I thought the sun rose after that on their burning corpses. Yeah, well, you didn't say that for that, so. Well, anyway. Back to my thing. I need to. There, I know there. I've done it before where I played this game. Don't you. Hey. Hey now. I. You're not an all star, frankly. Where am I? Okay. I just got. I just got warped. I just got heckin' time warped. For my sins. Hi, Apollo. <laughs> yeah, and I can help you warp into heaven. If we could just open up <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> This bit can't go on, but 
It'll stop after I'm thinking of easy ways to make these jokes. I think what I, I, I like dissecting humor. I think what I like about those jokes is that they are inherently low hanging fruit. Like I'm, I'm specifically making fun of people trying to use like, you know, big current trends to connect to the youths. And, and, and as I know calorie intake is recommended, I'd recommend you some bitches, Alexa. Oh. <laughs> hey, Alexa, get laid for once in your life. Nerd. Fuck. Fuck. I, what I should do is, so, so Ian is always tummy hurty and that is understandable. I, I, I say that because, you know, he was talking about, like, I'm tired. And I didn't, and, I, and it's just like, I understand. And I'm okay with that. But anytime you're like, always, that makes it sound like you're at, mad at someone. And I, I'm not. I completely understand. He's chill. Don't worry about it. Um, but after he said that, I was like, what do I stream? And I was like, Monster Hunter or Subnautica. And I was like, I, I kind of want to do Subnautica. I mean, I kind of want to do Monster Hunter because then I don't have to worry about like story progress or what have you. And then I was like, but Monster Hunter, I might not even do that many quest lines. And furthermore, like, you know, uh, I have a good time streaming Subnautica since I, fir since I first started. So we're, do we're doing Subnautica and hopefully it's a good stream. Get, the get those dopamine levels up, you know? I need my fix. And the only need fix I need <laughs> is a fix of our Lord, Jesus Christ. <laughs> now let's get you a Bible, Chief. <laughs> hey, do you have a Bible on you currently? Not in general, currently, right now. Let's get you one. Let's I get you several you. Bibles. Oh, that's too many. One is too many. I love the parrot. Yeah, it's a parrot. I have two photorealistic parrots. This is one of them. I was just about to comment on the parrot. What was your comment on the parrot? That I didn't know you had a parrot. I have a parrot. My god. <laughs> My god. I need to... Juice, you have a high gloss... High gloss PNG of Winton, right? It's not high gloss, but I have it. I would I would like a decently high res. Okay. Uh, Google. Show Google. Winton. Show me Winton's balls. No, no, don't show me those. I would love to not see those. Question. If you wear Bibles akin to a bulletproof vest, like in, in such an array, could you be immune to any vampire attack? I guess. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> That's the perfect response. Like, sure, I guess. Why not? Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. I hate that you said that. <laughs> I hate the things you're saying to me. <laughs> what is bleach made of again? Can you actually make bleach out of out of s seabed deposits? We're gonna we're gonna make it a wider array than just qu coral, specific coral. I mean, I guess I'm asking that, but theoretically, this is a unique kind of coral evolved specifically on this planet, so it could very much have the necessary ingredients for um for for bleach if you use salt to break it down and what have you so uh, you know what i mean yeah to be fair yes. bleach is not a very complex molecule that's what that that's what i'm saying it's not like they're yeah. just like use this coral to make plutonium and i'm be like um i don't here's the thing <laughs> probably not right yeah no Almost certainly no. But bleach? That's that's pretty reasonable. Yeah. And like, it's I don't like thing. bleach as much as One Piece, but that's kind of a hard oh by, by, high bar to hit. And it's not really about uh -huh. the writing quality of either. It's more mm -hmm. about like the time and zeitgeist they were both popular in. Um, right. that, 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 that linked them. So. Have a good lurk meet. There's a Winton in your pocket. I appreciate the Winton in my pocket. I can make a purple tablet if I have an ion cube and two diamonds. So I will probably never make a purple tablet. 
<laughs> Two <laughs> diamonds? Play. Are you kidding me? In your tablet. wildest dreams. But my guy, the tablet. Think about it. I don't think you're thinking about it. Okay. So we're going to go on to the Aurora. Um, I have several blocks of lead in my pocket, which, as far as I know, is the best way to make sure you don't get uh, fucking radiation poisoning from something. So, this will go well. Uh, there we go. I was thinking it the other day. This is something probably Stealth knows. It's like, do they explain the construction of the vaults? Like, obviously the interiors differ based on the fucked up experiment they're doing. But, like, what about just the general overall construction to make sure they don't, I don't know, blow up in a nuclear explosion? <laughs> I was thinking, on top of getting New Vegas, I was thinking about getting the original Fallout. Maybe that would be a fun game to stream. Just to be like, hey, I don't know Fallout. Uh, and even though I know the later ones are very different from this, this seems like a cool point-and-click adventure. Set in a depressing, depressing post-apocalypse. So... Juice, what would you do in a post-apocalypse? When I'm done crying? When you're done crying? <laughs> yes, when you're done crying. Okay, um, after crying, three pa days will have passed. Mm-hmm. And then I guess I'll make a shelter for myself. Neat. I'm gonna be a pirate. I see. There's no po post-apocalypse in which being a pirate is a bad idea. So... Are you gonna be the Goldie Roger of our time? I mean, yeah. Fun. It's like civilization will prop itself back up again. And I'll be like, well, time to time to profit off of this by stealing kind of things. <laughs> exactly. Hello, hello. Hi. My name is Cahill. Can someone please direct me to the to the captain of this fine vessel? I have I have a I have a report about it. I have a problem with structural integrity. So this, this boat's looking fucked up. Someone fuck this boat sideways. Oh, this is actually pretty cool. Energy transmitters. Not too long ago, uh, they was like I haven't seen someone use this before, and I was like. I have seen someone use the energy transmitters before because sometimes it's just more convenient to place your base elsewhere and then have your energy transmitters help you get get power from a generator to to where the base now is. Do I have No yes, okay. Titanium. I am titanium. Bulletproof. Nothing to lose. I'm titanium. Also, Juice, I have something to tell you. I have news. Is it good news? Uh, probably. From what okay. I know about you, you'll consider it good news. I have become I have become obsessed with a Miku song. Um, upon what listening to a foo, uh, culture shock. I mean, I assume that's what well, it's done. called. <laughs> what? Well, uh, uh, culture shock. Da 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 da. That one. Oh. I can't read the name. It's in Japanese. Yeah, but I don't think I've ever heard that one was kind of ha that one I got from Jaden's new video in part because it's both on the playlist you made of Miku songs, which is ten hours long, which is far longer <laughs> than I would need as a starter Miku playlist. Um, but it's also the start of the magical Mirai concert she went to. So. I don't like this at all. Hey, gang. Yeah. Fuck this. I've never heard this song before. <laughs> I like it. She spells out the words culture shock. <laughs> I love it when they do that. I love <laughs> it when they spell the- I love when they spell the main word in the song out while singing the song. C. Then I got some you. good news about Miku. <laughs> L-T-U-R-E-S-H-O-C-K. 
C U L T U R E S H O C K. Call, 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 sure, shock. What's your favorite Miku song? Juice. Um, Don't say it in Japanese. I'll be very mad. I was going to say in Japanese, but I, I guess I'll look up <laughs> how the, could the you? English name. <laughs> I can't Hold look on. that up on Spotify. You know this. <laughs> You know I don't have a Japanese iPhone. You know this about me. I don't have a Japanese iPhone either. Yeah, well, I just how copy do you... paste from Google. No, that's an awful way to do it. <laughs> it's what I do. You do a lot of things wrong. We've been over this. Yeah. Oh, it's because it's uh, because you're here. Oh, okay. And it's basically a song about Miku thanking everyone because Aww. without her fans, she is literally nothing, and I cry every time. She is ones and zeros. I mean, not like Miku. I've been thinking Miku. Miku? Who are you? Make me pee like Superman something else. Dum -ba -da -da -da. I know, I know these giant ticks have been eating human flesh. I don't need you to remind me, Alexa. They're tech tights. Uh, the tech tights could be ticks. You don't know. Do you know the fucking biology of Zelda monsters? Damn it! Yes. Oh, that was close. <laughs> Almost died to fall damage. Actually, I don't... Does this game have fall damage? I do not know. I think it does. Yeah. Because if you, like, fall 15 feet, he breaks his ankles. No. Probably should have brought food, but also I might find a nutrient block. Oh, dude. Nutrient block. Oh, dude. Let's go. Also, I have news about my animals. What's that? Danielle opened the door to come in, and Bozo came in under her. Yay! They are for. <laughs> they are teammates. United to do teammates. what. Uh, united to do whatever they want, in, in spite of you. I know. I remember this part being like a little annoying with all the tech types, but I don't remember it being this annoying. Or it's just like, I can't fucking do anything. There's fucking well, tech tights everywhere. Slashing. That's it's not that good of a knife. Remember they were like you can still start slashing. They were like the Geneva Convention. I'm like, fuck your Geneva. <laughs> uh a sign slot, yes, there we go. Oh wait, what the No! Go in the slot I told you to go in. No. <laughs> slot. Slot. Can you just call it a slot? I will call this whole water planet a slot. Wow. Oh, the ocean's a whore and I support sex workers. Okay. Do yeah. sure. you have a problem with sure, that, Jace? No, I don't. Yeah, so that's what I fucking thought. Lord. Always trying to get one up on me. But you can't now. Not without making a fool of yourself. She, I love... <laughs> I just love how she talks over herself. And any alerts must be read immediately. There, There's not a cue. New PDA data. Note to self. I'm not reading all these. That's a lot of words. Too bad I'm not reading them. Altera oh, oh, I can read. I can fight. Take Thank item. Thank you for the 20 year old callback. You're welcome. I don't think I think I don't think Fairly Odd Parents was ever that good of a show, and then but Chartman was a crazy man. So <laughs> the few the few good things that were in Fairly Odd Parents are I'll, I'll, I'll always cherish. All right, I think you're technically supposed to have the grav gun at this part, but I always just kind of oh I always just kind of you know parkour parkour yes. There's a jump in this game, isn't there? Oh, there is. It, for some reason, it's triangle. Yep. That wasn't even that hard. 
maybe you're not even supposed to have the grab gun here. I mean, they, they, they show it to you a lot before here, so it's definitely an option, but I don't fucking care. Hmm. Let's see. I have to read. <laughs> Blueprints, data downloads, and digit. I guess, I guess data downloads. Codes and clues. Alien life form f things. I know where those are already. Transmission. Notes to self. 18 o cargo bait. 1454. Uh, I don't have a keyboard, so I got. I just gotta. Uh, oh, I'm doing this on a controller too. No, damn you! <laughs> this is going to be wildly hard. Okay, okay, we just gotta nudge it the right way. Fourteen fifty-four, right? I'm gonna, I'm gonna choose to believe yes. Just gotta tickle the controller. Just 14. Just, just. No, not seven. <laughs> Lord. Seven. Oh, seven. How many people have watched the My Brother, My Brother and Me show? I have. I think it was funny. Especially when he said seven. Oh, okay. That's wrong. Yes. They're they're doing a whole bit that they've been playing out in ARG, in the show. They have not. <laughs> they haven't been. Um, and then they're like, we don't think you really picked up on it, so we're going to start making them more the the clues more obvious. And then Griffin just pulls up his shirt, and there's a giant seven <laughs> under it and he yells seven the clue is seven <laughs> pretty funny pretty pretty pog my guy I'd... does this refill automatically <gasps> what the, the hell Okay. <laughs> uh, I might just, yeah, just drop. There we go. You know, I can probably find more, you know, fire extinguishers. If this, if this spaceship is OSHA compliant, there should be plenty of fire extinguishers around here. I don't know how many, how many fire extinguishers are typically required on a massive, you know, the uh, fucking space cruiser, but I think a couple is reasonable. Does OSHA technically cover space? Like, wait, I was, I was asking that as kind of a bit, but then I was like, wait, the, the ISS is technically a thing. Did, the, did OSHA help with the ISS? <laughs> I mean, I would hope so. <laughs> you would hope they were safety compliant up there, of all yeah. places. Uh, let me make sure. Was there not even any fucking Cyclops parts here? Maybe further not down. I want, I want Cyclops. I think there is Cyclops parts. I know there is. I know there suit. is. They, yes, that I remember too. I know there is because I looked up where the last, like the areas the last Cyclops parts uh -huh. spawn in and it was like Aurora. Uh, like Nito, low beta. We must go deeper. I, we must go deeper. Let's go deeper. Don't you lie to me, pig. The wiki, the wiki even. Is it pig speed running this? The wiki. Oh uh, yeah, but pig is the wiki. Technic. I mean, the speed run could just be like, don't even bother with the cyclops. It's optional. Complete. It's completely optional, and you, fucking hello. Lee. <laughs> oh, right. I. Why I'm so I'm so very upset right now. 
<laughs> so I fucking get out of here. I've just played this several times. That's wild to hear, Pig, given the the, fir the first time I've seen you play this game. Pig said, "I am I am now the the sole knowledgeable person about Zonotica. Get out of here! What the fuck are you doing? I'll literally kill you. I've actually killed you. I what like what is going on? Uh." How many? I, I'm gonna use one of my med kits. I'm still pig. If it's okay with you, I'm going to still explore. If it's okay with you. But also, pig, do you know where the engine is? Would you, if if you are, if you are in such a way that you know where all the cyclops parts are, would you mayhaps invite me to engine parts? I mean, you should, what? I should listen to you? Probably. I could take, this is a sea moth. Yeah, no. There are a lot of good things here. <laughs> yeah, except these fuckers. Who I hope go extinct. Plap, 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 go extinct, go extinct, go extinct. I have no... It's good for you. Pig, <laughs> I'm about to get real snarky with Pig. Like, <laughs> I have no problem finding Cyclops parts. Pig, was the question... Pig, do you have trouble finding Cyclops parts? No, it's where are they? <laughs> I wasn't... At <laughs> I'm joking with you. You First off, you, you really shouldn't tell me anything. I should just do it myself. <laughs> but the way Oh, oh, no, I always have trouble finding them Sorry, sorry pig. I thought you said I have no not no I have trouble I thought you said I have no trouble. I should get tested for dyslexia at some point I apologize J -j -j Pig please please my apologies Please take my apologies that's my sleeping emo. I didn't want to use that. It's a good emo. It was made by Invisible Guy. Everyone go check out Invisible Guy. It's good. I I watch I listen to his vods when I'm feeling sad. Integrating new PDA <laughs> The problem data. is you're stupid. See that one was deserved. <laughs> As opposed to the one I thought you said, where it was just you bragging about how good you are at Zenotica at me. That, that one was completely warranted in that I was a dick to you before. So, accept, accepted, based. Juice, who's the most based person you know? I'm gonna assume Juice said Rosa Parks. Juice personally knows Rosa Parks. They have brunch every Friday. Why? Why is my fucking? Oh, I was gonna say why is my scan tool still out? But I put away my repair my building tool because I don't need my building tool right now. Okay. Uh. Ta, ta, ta. That is not something I will. I'm not getting the prawn to. I'm gonna look around a bit. Like, do we need the prawn suit? Yes. Uh, but I would prefer to get the Cyclops. Two out of four. I think there's four prawn suits in here. But where is Cyclops? I was, <laughs> I was told Cyclops would be at the, would be served at this function. I have yet to see any Cyclops. How disappointing. 
Is there anything to scan down here? I, I would hope it'd be obvious given the nature of how dark it is. If I was to take out my scanning tool, I'd want the thing I'm scanning to be basically right in front of me. Oh, wait. Wait. Is that a thing, or is it just a piece of the... Man, I can't distinguish the piece of machineries from the pieces of machinery. <laughs> I'll be real with you. It's hard to... It, it's hard to comb through this wreckage to find specific wreckage that helps me out. I know. Hard to believe. I do feel like I remember scanning an engine in, in the vehicle bay at one point, but... Where and how? I mean, maybe it's just a chance to spawn here. And I have gotten unlucky. Everyone is so mean to me. The, the subnautic, the subnautica devs have not chosen to bless me this day. Unfortunate. Uh, no, this is, you know, I guess, I guess the, <laughs> the wreckage here is pretty decently realistic. I don't know if that's a good thing, though, that is just so wild, <laughs> just completely messed up. Also, this is all we need for the, for what's left of the prawn soup. I wouldn't mind. I'm not going to pick up any of the modules yet. I won't mind. I, I don't think I'd mind too much coming back on my own time in between streams at one point when when they are deemed necessary to like, you know, grab them. But for right now, we're going to skip them. Living quarters. Uh I know there's good stuff here, but do I want it? <laughs> Get everything. No. Well, that'd be hard. It would be hard. So, you're already playing hard four. Cabin one. Is that... Is that where Yui lives? Not my friend, but rather... 1806. Does, does, does this this so-called Yui wait there's not an L on here is there well I'm shit out of luck could I you know just look around for more clues yes will I yeah. <laughs> who's to say that not me definitely did not say you. what did it say you no I like to pronounce ease. It's a quirk of mine. Captain's quarters. Uh, sweet offer. Come by cap 1869. Ah, oh, the year I was born. Happy birthday, old man. Thanks. Also, the year Pig was born, apparently. I thought Pig was born in BC 5000. <laughs> Pig is the caveman from that one caveman episode of SpongeBob. Where past yeah. and future collide. When worlds, worlds collide. collide. You can run, but you can't hide. When worlds collide. The, the sick, the, truly the greatest album to be dropped in our lifetime. Mm -hmm. When you really think. <laughs> Give me robot and caveman from SpongeBob. There's just one thing I don't understand. What's that? What's a gorilla doing underwater? <laughs> well, you, you see, George, they're on to us. In Open. This SpongeBob practical effects. Yeah. They would. They would never today. Integrating responsible PDA autonomous data. relationships no let me 
Let me fuck a robot. You can't stop me. This is important, is the thing. Like, I, I would like that. Also, they were like, cool prawn suit, and I'm not here. Or it was the prawn suit poster. Is that hanging up somewhere in here? Nope, don't see it. Oh well. What about the captain's cabin? Did we pick up anything with that? Uh, operation logs. Sweet author. No. Nope. No, nope. Uh, not anything big. Yeah, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna mosey along. Is this where we came from? Or is this where we're going? Who could really say? That's not necessary right now. Thank you for the offer, though. So, this way. Back to the prawn room. I swore there it was like, you find the Cyclops on the thing. And I was like, I would love to. But now, now I feel made a fool of. Now, now egg is on my face, and I don't like egg that much. <laughs> Not on my face. <laughs> oh, keep going. Hey, Kale, shit's on fire. It is, is the thing. But you know what? We just keep, we just keep trucking along. Sometimes the world's on- my world's on fire, how about yours? That's the way I like it, and I never get bored. Hey now. Rockstar. Game on. Gay. The drive I know it sustained damage. I- <laughs> the radiation burns to prove it. <laughs> No signal. Warning, local radiation at maximum tolerable level. Well, luckily we're sitting next to the elephant foot, so if we're, if we were, if this is considered tolerable, we're fine. <laughs> uh, the real problem is going to be that there, I know for a fact there are little fuckers in this area. They don't like them very much. They're gonna jab you. They, they're gonna be like, yeah, 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 I got your forearm. Mm, I love arm hair. It's not as thick as <laughs> head hair. That's what like, your preference to have. But okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's why, that's why <laughs> no one likes these guys. Yeah. You were like, Kale, you've made that character undesirable. And I was like, I know, bitch. <laughs> that was my preference. That's what I was going for. Oh my goodness, a little leech dude is undesirable? Leeches are weird. I, I've i warmed up to the idea of real leeches, but as a kid I was like, I hate, I hate that. Hate that idea. Of thing on me sucking blood. But compared to other parasites I know of now, leeches are fine. They're little squirmy worms, you know. I saw a leech when I was a kid and I freaked out, so... Like in real life or in a yeah, containment? Yeah, like in real life. Uh, I mean, I would not blame you. As a child, we were in a water place we weren't supposed to be, and a uh, leech was on my friend's leg. Yeah. I was like, that's. Oh, well, the, the, yeah, that that is worth. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh. Uh, mom, please. <laughs> There's five more minutes. Mom can't help you here. I mean, she's telepathically fucking uh, with me. <laughs> You know, when I said in the wild, I thought you meant just like you stop, you saw one in the water, but you were like it was attached to someone. I'm like, yeah, that's bad. I also wouldn't yeah, like that. Even even when it got pulled off and was just squirming around in the water, I was like, that's not chill. I mean, no, because <laughs> you just saw it attached to someone. <laughs> I feel like being important. previously being attached to someone is in fact a major key component of the story. 
Fair enough. Leech swimming separately of person is like, that's gross, but I'm not, you know, I, maybe I could handle that. But Leech having been attached to loved one's leg, not great. And now I don't swim in lakes. I mean, can't really blame you. The ocean is better anyway. Lakes are like gross and tiny because they, they hold all that in smaller water area. But like, you know, ocean is so big. It can have all the gross stuff in the world, but you'll never know it. So It's got fish poop in there. It's got, yeah, but that's so, but it, there's, it's so big. How would you even know there's fish poop if you didn't do science to find the fish poop? <laughs> because I saw a fish poop in the ocean once. Well, that's on you, isn't it? Why were you looking at that? I, I just wanted to snorkel. Well, fucking stop looking at the fish. Go to the bathroom, weirdo. You freak. Oh. Do we have to punish you for toilet crimes? Apparently. No. no. <laughs> Not the toilet crimes. <laughs> I can't go to jail for toilet crimes. Do you know what they do to toilet crimers in jail? <laughs> they make them turn away from the toilet. Is that... Where's last breach? Where's last Halo breach? Halo? Halo? I haven't played a Halo game before. I'd like to get that collection thing and play those games, but... Uh, no, I haven't. <laughs> I like it on a console. What what Halo... I, I, am at, I think 1 through 3 are available on Xbox 360. How what that entails for me getting those games for that system, I don't know. So if it's like there is in fact the collection on 360, or if it's like no, you have to buy them individually for the previous generations and then put them on 360. So suck it up. Okay. <laughs> I was talking to myself. I'm sorry, oh. Juice. I was talking about noodles. Oh. I love noodles. Noodles are pretty great. I'm not gonna lie. It's like the thing where it's, uh, they, they feed people on movie sets with pasta and what have you because it's really easy to make a lot of it and, and keep it very easily. So. Oh, that's a, oh, I found it. It was tucked in a nook and or cranny. Okay. We've stopped the nuclear apocalypse from occurring. Pretty neat. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Chernobyl? <laughs> Avoid it. Oh, uh... Put the... Let's do this. And take this. And go home. Okay, well, I gotta look up where the fucking... Where, where the Cyclops engine is gonna be, because I want that. I want that more than anything! Uh, it's my one desire. Uh, my touch, my fire. And they're not letting me have it. And frankly, I think it's rude. Uh, I have to get out of here. Sir, let me leave. I have, I have no... I have no desire to stay in your crumbling ship anymore. Well, shit's crumbly like coffee cake. I don't like it. Goodbye. That's what I used to think of the pyramids of Giza. But because but that but that's the British fault, as so many things are. <laughs> so Fuck you, Britain, you know what you did. They do know what they did, and they refuse to look at it. <laughs> We're going to make them. I'll make you look at it. Look at it. Okay. You know what? Pause real quick. Let's look up. Cyclops. Engine fragment. We're used to store grain. Wicked, not what they were used for. <laughs> We don't, as, as someone living in America, we don't 
talk about, you know, who's running for president right now. <laughs> Large wreck. Okay. I think what we should start doing is go to area haven't done before. So let's let's get that. I have not dis. I have not explored roughly in the west direction. So we we must now go west. Go west, young man. Can I? Oh my goodness, I'm glad water was underneath me. <laughs> that could have been death. That could okay. have been death. I was trying to peek over the ledge, not jump off it. Oh, hey, look. Fucking tektite falling <laughs> into the abyss. I hope those guys are okay at deep depth. Because if not, he's dead. <laughs> hey, I don't think he is. I don't like tactites, but I don't dislike them that much, <laughs> you know? They will die. Yeah. I don't want them to die. I just want them to back off of me for just a second. I just want them to look up. Yeah, we should absolutely hightail it back to, back to my dearest life pod and you know what after this I think what we'll start doing is we will start we're gonna go to a place to see if the if I can find any you know any decent cyclops pieces there um, and then from there we will start building a base to slash you know create the cyclops from and furthermore to explore from so Uh, th that th general plan for right now. The general? Well, I mean, for a quick low rate you can get online, go to the general and save some time. Wow, I think wow. I will. I won't. Damn it. Under. I'm looking at a thing right now. Yeah. You should prank call somebody. <laughs> to who? Who and why? I don't know. Just dial in a random number. Okay, so I have. I'm not going to do that, by the way. Hmm. But. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. So we're not going to where I thought we were going. We're going to a different place. And I think what we should do to go there is have uh, the help of our old friend, um, Air Pump. <laughs> Which, you know, has famously gone very well. <laughs> no, it's fine. It's fine. Also, I think I'll make a floating locker real quick to keep some not super important stuff in. Because I don't know if floating lockers stay in the same place, but regardless, we, we need some extra storage. ATM. So. I think they drift, but they don't drift as fast as the pod. The pod drifts? Yeah, the pod drift. Why does a pod drift? Why does water? Why, why water? <laughs> okay. Oh, let me in. Let me in my house. My home. Hi, to 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 to. Man, this studio apartment in the middle of Brooklyn sure is twelve thousand dollars a month. <laughs> it sure is thing. Okay, well, we don't even have enough. Okay, we don't even have space in there. So. <laughs> I'm fully locker it is. Agreed. Oh, 
because here's the thing um the whole like the whole the whole uh <laughs> fucking uh the whole pipe deal yeah well no opposite of that uh oh. the whole pipe deal um means we need a decent amount of inventory space to hold it all so next to next to thing please float relatively quick next to each close to each other the hole hole hey hold the hole this is my hole it was made for me gosh dang it it was made for me don't don't go into the cliff hole i'm going into the hole you're gonna come out a weird spaghetti mess. <laughs> gonna come out a horrifying ending page of yeah. Junji Ito. Be spaghetti. You don't want to be a spaghetti man. You don't want to be spaghetti. <laughs> spaghetti mans are bad. Junji Ito answers the chat. I'd prefer he not. Well, no, he's cool. Uh, you better not post any first drafts in here. <laughs> It'll get weird. And I don't appreciate that. Mr. Junji loves his wife and his cat, so he's welcome anytime. I mean, you're not wrong, but still. I got my eye on him. Hey, yo. His yes. wife, his cat. <laughs> Think about it. Think about how cool his wife and cat are. He loves them. He does. Okay, well, here's the thing. That's about as much as we can have in there right now. S slight problem. I mean, I can just yoik and yoik. So that helps a bit. Um, and then let's see if we can go find our, our, dear, our dear air pump. I've heard he's a really nice guy. He seems chill. Like I said, as long as he's not posting first drafts up in here, he can stay. <laughs> I'm a big admirer of work. It's just I wouldn't, I, I'm not about to pull up any pages on stream right now, so. Hey, here's the thing. I yeah. want to see them. No, my lord. <laughs> I want to see the floating heads, which is legitimately just fucking awful and scary idea. <laughs> a lot of his ideas are scary. Yeah, but I think the floating heads in particular. Like, I'm just like, oh! Yeah. <laughs> that, 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 and if you were like, that noise made me uncomfortable. Exactly. <laughs> Precisely. It's exactly what I was saying. I wanna, wait. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Aurora. Tina just really wants to be a pirate, Yui. Like, Crash. really wants to be a pirate. Mountains. Okay. Okay, honestly, um, we might be able to get away with this. Club with you and water-based games. Yeah. I mean, I was saying, on top of playing this, I also kind of want to play, uh, and see if these, I'd love to play Monkey Island at some point. So, maybe we'll do that as another pirate-based, based water game and you know i haven't played below zero so i wouldn't do that as a hardcore run but i also wouldn't mind it as a uh as a, as a first play on stream and i'm trying to get pickier about what what i you know stream and what have you but i think below zero would be an a-ok -okay pick they talk a lot in that game. See, that's the problem, right? I was talking about that. Where, where it's like, you went from being kind of an isola isolated, uh, survive in, in the sea kind of thing to a whole, uh, just more story based and stuff. And that's fine. But I, nah. <laughs> I think part of what made the first uh, Subnautica special was being relatively isolated, so. Like, 
Like it's fine that you want to help your sister and all, but good. Yes. I didn't know. I didn't even know that was Shush. part of the story. <laughs> yeah. It's, Is that your first character? First of all, British people. Duh. Ah. Oh, oh. Yeah. yeah. Oh, how could they? <laughs> Honestly, I mean, that, it is. This game is about colonization in a lot of ways. Yeah. So, they would do that, wouldn't they? They would. Oh. Oh wait, I don't need this. I'll scan it anyway. I scan anyway. I scan anyway. Oh wait. Okay. I'm glad. I'm glad. I, I, I'm glad I, I did a bit more reading. <laughs> Just to make sure. Also, is this a wildly dangerous place to be located in right now? Absolutely. Yes. Um, are we going to change course? No. That, that's how you know what a pirate. That, that's what. A, that's kind of what makes you a pirate. You know, it's like this is not something a a, a typical captain uh, uh, on a charter would do, but we're gonna do it anyway. It's it's the risk reward shit. Yeah, but what if you get crunched on? Uh, well, I don't know, save and quit. I hope he isn't there when I come back. <laughs> this is hardcore. You can't just save and quit. You can. You can? Yes. Oh. There's a button for save and quit. So, I mean, it might just save him on top of me, crunching, but risk, risk we gotta take. As long as I stay in the sh in the relative shallows, a friend won't show up. But, but if I'm not mistaken, this is about where we started getting risky. So let's get. Oh well, we don't even have to do that. So <laughs> fuck getting risky. <laughs> Heck yeah! Okay, so technically the Cyclops isn't found in the Aurora, but it is found, you know, Aurora adjacent. In the dangerous part around the Aurora. Yes. I mean, that makes sense. Uh, honestly, if slash when I play this game again, I'll remember that. Of just like, risk reward, just fucking Aurora parts near Reaper Leviathan. <laughs> I'm kind of surprised you don't have any mode of transportation already. I'm saving myself for the Aurora. Oh, wait, no, the Cyclops. <laughs> what? Oh. I mean, no, legitimately my mode of thinking is I feel like this, uh, like there's enough workarounds for the Seamoth and it becomes obsolete so quickly with like progressing the actual game itself that I would rather just put efforts and resources into getting a Cyclops and or prawn suit. Um, so with that in mind, I haven't, I haven't, I haven't prioritized anything but the Cyclops and Prawn suit. So that's where my head's been at. Some people might be like, hey, Hull, that's not a great way to run the game. And I say, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not doing great ways to run the game. I'm doing my way to run the game. So. You're thin, running around screaming my way. My way. Yeah. And if there, and if there, and if there's one thing I fucking learned from that episode, it's that it, he got it done his way. He so. did. Say what you will, but fucking doing doing things, being determined and putting your fist through a brick wall by punching it over and over again is can be satisfying and fun. So. Say what you mean. Say. <laughs> Tell what me you I'm need right? to say. say oh. What you need to say. Oh, uh, you were singing fucking Mona Lisa. I was like, I know those lyrics. Don't remember the fucking song. <laughs> I'm surprised you knew the song. Okay. I I had a, I listened to a good amount of emo music in my day. P A T. I mean, Panic at the Disco still holds my as my favorite album. So. Thing, you know. Death of a bachelor. The death of a bachelor. Whoa. I stab you. Hello. You're yeah. a bachelor, yes. I mean, you're right, but <laughs> not what I was expecting. Stab. 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 Letting the water fall. 
Oh, the death of a bachelor. Oh, uh -huh. I should listen to that album again. It's really good. I like it a lot. You should. Say what you will, but I mean, I, 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 when I started listening to that album, I was like, this is real good. Looked it up. He was like, I'm getting married. So I wrote an album kind of about, you know, before and after, yada, yada, etc., etc. And I, I didn't know that was the reason. Yes, that's why it's fucking called. That's why it's called Death of the Bachelor. No, in my head, that whole album is a guy going on a bender in Vegas and dying at. The I end. mean, that is kind of yes, that is kind of the idea. It's one Got of those it. things where it's like metaphorical death of like, you know, I was Brendan Yuri guy in emo band. Lots has changed now, and I'm even getting married. So to commemorate. Where where we've been, where we're going. I write album called the, the Death of a Bachelor, about moving on from one part of my life, going on to another. And they say that I don't have media literacy. No one said that. <laughs> yeah. okay. Who was who was saying that? <laughs> no one. Creature egg. And they said I couldn't do it. Who said it? I. I didn't expect to be quizzed. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I just wanted to say that, actually. <laughs> I was thinking of everyone. Thank you, weirdo Steve. Everyone was real into Emperor's New Groove, but I preferred Death of a Bachelor and L.A. Devotee myself. Just yeah, another. So just fun. another. Uh oh. I feel like that's part of the reason I like the song is I feel the album is because I think all the songs are bangers. And like when I'm list, if I want to listen to an out al an entire album, then that's what <laughs> that's kind of what needs to happen, which is an unrealistic thing to demand of a musical artist. I realize, like sometimes it's just like, no, we're gonna slow it down. And it's like, no. <laughs> but Death of a Bachelor is just like I'm bumping the entire the whole thing, so jamming. I like Impossible Year. That's sort of the end of the album, right? That is the end of the album. Yeah. No, it's a good song. I just don't know it as well because I would say around the middle of the album is all the songs I I hyper jam with. So those I know super well. <laughs> Disgusting middle of the album. -er. I like the beginning and the end. Don't <laughs> even skip Actually, the I like middle. Golden days. Yeah. The middle's fine. Golden days, baby. And, we, the good, the bad and then, family. like years after me listening to that, everyone was just like, "Baby, we built this house on memories." And I was like, I "Was jamming out to all of these in in fucking early freshman year of high school." And that was not fresh. No way. When did? Huh? Well, look up when. Look up when I will tell you. What? Oh my god, it's 2016. Yes, that would be my freshman year, year of high school. <laughs> oh my god. What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? Uh, what part What part of this is hard to understand? Is it, is it making you feel old? Is it making me seem too young? Like, what's up? Yes. Is it All of the above. <laughs> Pup. What year of high school were you in in 2016, Juice? Junior. Hmm. I mean, fucking that kind of age gap means less and less as time goes on. And I feel like even in high school, junior versus freshman is just like, that. I don't give a shit. <laughs> no, we shat on all the freshmen. Well, then you are you were a dickhead, okay? Well, maybe if they weren't weird, hmm. we would I mean, that's shit di on That's them. different. That's different, isn't it? I'm going to need to find the battery charger at one point because otherwise it's just going to be a ridiculous amount like just me holding a ridiculous amount of dead batteries and be like I might use them one day oh ho ho would you have a battery charger uh, this where? is where I put my batteries <laughs> nope can this I need one more vehicle fragment and I, I mean I can just probably go to uh, another kelp forest and find it but it's hoping there'd be one here okay i think we're gonna go back to the back to the life pod and then go from there also figure out how to 
take off all these fucking compass points I'm not going to I'm not going to check them out they're dead you know they're dead Alexa I know they're dead Alexa he she we knows they're dead Alexa but Alexa really wants you to go up the bodies get me hard well that, <laughs> that's between you and God don't chomp at me stalker you wish you were the scariest thing in this game. Not only are there s no. several other sharks. No, I don't have peepers to spare right now. Not only are there sh several other scary shark designs here. There are also things infinitely scarier than regular or alien sharks. <laughs> oh, like did it. Like Big Mamba? Fucking Maha Mamma Mamma? Yeah. Big Mom. Oh, I forgot. Big Mom C. What? I thought I had both two. I thought two. I thought I had all. Th I thought I already had two. <laughs> no, you only have one. Damn bit. This is, <laughs> this is the worst birthday ever. <laughs> Didn't even get my fucking mobile vehicle back. <laughs> but you do have. Stop fighting your ass. Nah. Oh, they're not that close to my ass just yet. Okay. Let me. Okay. Fucking file management time. Everyone's favorite part of a survival game. <laughs> Fucking, you remember. You remember the part in Minecraft where they have you go into Canvas and, and, and look through Excel files for your boss? Yeah, me too. It was great. Blueprint. I like those parts. Cut it out. Okay. Oh. There we go. <laughs> Not you, my fucking thing. Oh. But... Okay. <laughs> you stop defending canvas as well. Got my eye on you. I'm not saying that it's good, but it's a fun time. I don't. <laughs> I don't. No. No. Nair. Enamel plaid. Oh my lord. <laughs> you can't just say that about Australians. You can't. Shiv in here. You get. <laughs> I would love to hang out with Shiv. She seems cool. Where's Gold? Uh, gold, gold, I do hang out with. She's cool. <laughs> Shiv isn't even along the lines of OMG streamer I like. Shiv is more legitimately just like OMG person who seems cool. <laughs> Gold right there! Gold get and call. Say funny things. <laughs> Gold say no. <laughs> I'm sorry. Gold say nar mermaid. <laughs> no. Well, <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Ask and we will receive. If you refuse someone asking you to refuse, did you acquiesce to their request? Or like, <laughs> or like what? You know what I'm saying? No. <laughs> yeah, me neither. <laughs> Don't bite my ass. I, it's your birthday. My, <laughs> that's not what that. I, I wildly confused about what you just implied. Are you telling me people don't bite your ass on your birthday? No. Oh. Neither Juice, are you okay? <laughs> do other people do to me? Nope. No way. No one's been biting my ass. No. Juice, what level of Wagyu would you compare your ass to? Uh, level two. Oh! Pretty good, pretty it's, good. It's not super prime meat, but it's pretty tender. It could be- I got it, some marble in. You could get worse. Yeah. That's for sure. We're not looking at, like, B5. 
Fucking Taco Bell. <laughs> <laughs> We're a lot looking at discount ground beef from Acme, but. Yeah. <laughs> you will never say the word chubby little cheeks to me ever again. Refuse. Okay, Whoa. so technically we have all we need for a mobile vehicle bay right now, but I would actually prefer to make my base first. Oh, wait. Can we make a beacon? Do we not have a thing for beacon yet? You should have beacon. Deployables. No, I only have... I, I have... Uh, personal equipment. Oh, wait. Tool? Would it be in that? Would, I mean, I don't know why it wouldn't be deployable. Out of kit. That sounds cool, but I don't want it. <laughs> Uh, nope. Okay. I... Okay. So, what this game has now told me is that I should probably find a way to make sure I know where my base is, regardless of if I have a beacon there or not. So, here's what I'm thinking. Uh, I think we, we go closer. We go more kind of in the center of the Aurora. You know, back where our life pod kind of started. Uh, also, oh damn it! I damn bit. I need water. And I was like, surely I have water stocked away. Not so. Please get back here. I need you for your juices. KK Hill. Yes. You know where you find beacon fragments? Where is that? Is it in the Aurora? The dead people pods. Ah. Oh. Well, I guess we'll never get. <laughs> I guess we're never gonna get a beacon. Why are you like this? Just go mm. look at the dead people. <laughs> not, not under these circumstances. If we happen to pass uh, across a dead people at one point, fine. But I will not purposefully turn on fucking navigation and go there myself. Ain't no way in Jose. Oh. Fuck you, Jose. You know what you did. I know a few Jose's, and they're pretty okay. <laughs> but one of them has wronged you. And you don't know why, and you don't know how yet, but when you do, oh boy. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <clears throat> it's a good thing he's 5'4", and I can just pick him up. <laughs> Throw him into the ocean. I think he can swim. Into the ocean. <laughs> Okay, into the ocean. I mean, you can swim all you want. At, what, at one point, you'll, if you get thrown into the ocean, you know you have been thrown into the ocean. <laughs> Juice, if we were on a cruise ship and I, and on the promenade, and I picked you up and threw you off of the fucking uh, off the ship into the middle of the Pacific, you wouldn't be like, "Ha, moron! I know how to swim." <laughs> Fucking dork. Guess it didn't work out. So <laughs> great, did it. <laughs> Meanwhile, I've already disabled the security cameras. So the perfect crime has been committed. Is it a crime? Or just yeah. kind of float? Until you're a skeleton. Float until rescue comes. Until you're a skeleton. Yeah. One of them it's sea the skeletons. Skeleton. Pointing to a tablet in a cave for the for the main characters to find not me though no you you only saw it in your last moments mm -hmm. okay you know what if i can kind of put this base on the edge of several uh, at a decent depth but on the edge of several biomes that'll make it pretty easy to find because then i'll know because one of them will be the safe shallows that's for sure. Um, and then from there, it's like, okay, go away from the Aurora and on the border of the safe shallows and kelp forest and other. Is it like, I'm thinking around here is pretty good, you know? I would kind of want it to be at a good, like, 100 meters. Just so that way it's just like oxygen, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, I know, bitch. That's why my base is here. 
I think this is a-okay to start going in on. There are way more biomes than I thought there were. There are many biomes. We're not even about to talk about the ones underground. So. Oh, wait. We begin. I think you should go to the edge of the map to see the walking boys. The walker. Oh, right. I, I don't go there a lot because, <laughs> because it's <laughs> decently far. You need lead for this? Yeah. I did not know. You... What do you think the, the long poles are made out of? Uh, why would they be made out of lead? <laughs> mm -hmm. Space. Not, not... Not at all what that mean. Space. Space. Don't bite me. March. Oh, I need lead. Can we find lead here? We might we might be in a decent area to pick up some lead titanium. See? See? Already, already my genius is being shown. Because there are different ores in all three of these biomes. Exclusive to one each. And now I have access to them from my doorstep. Pretty cool. Pretty cool of Cahill. It'd be cool if you built your doorstep. <laughs> Fucking, I need lead. How about I give you some lead the quick way? You know what I'm saying? Huh? Are you gonna shoot me? No. I'm going to express mail it to you via UPS. It'll be here within the day. <laughs> Can't believe Cahill wants to give me lead poisoning. Just a little bit. To show my love. My love! Why are you giving your loved ones lead poisoning? Because that it seeps in deeper. <laughs> <laughs> you can't deny that. <laughs> I can. If I gave them just like lotion, it would sit on their skin. But since lead is skin soluble, it can go right through. <laughs> exactly. You're seeing the vision. I can't see the vision, boy. They must be out of focus. That's a real album of me. I wonder who wrote it. Oh shit. What? <laughs> Also, being next to a, a was thing, you know, creep vine forest is a decently smart idea for several reasons. I forget if I got enough for the bioreactor, but if oh, we did. did, I did. Yes. Okay. I need to know how to build a. I need to. Well, I know how to build a bioreactor. I guess. <laughs> I need to find materials. I need to inventorize for bioreactor. Hey, I have lost my base already. It's been two seconds. It should be right here. Is it not loading in? This seems like exactly where I had put it. I swear. Oh, there it is. Like what? I mean, in my defense, it was right here. I was just looking the wrong way. You can't blame me for looking the wrong way. Try. I mean, I can. <laughs> Don't. I'll be sad about it. <laughs> it's gonna hurt your Fifi. It's going to hurt my Fifi. <laughs> my goodness, see, see mom. Okay, so let me let me see if we can find just a few more lead. I would like a nice two by two, in order to finish off the foundation. If that's all right with my base, Lord. In heaven? <laughs> no. Oh. It's kind of general. For a great glow, where you get online and go to that general, it saves some time. I can't believe the general uh, stole my taxes. You did? Yeah. Is that true? No. Okay. <laughs> so does that mean, Jews, do you have a legal case against uh, the, the ins insurance? company the general that you need to bring forward 
I mean, if, even if I did, I probably can't talk about it. <laughs> I mean, he's talking about it on stream before the court, the case begins. Like, in any sense of that word. Is that illegal, or is that... Is it just it's like, I have a grievance. It's just, it's just not great. Isn't that how... But isn't that also how, like, lawyers find you to be like, I'm Saul Goodman, look at my suit. And you're like, oh my gosh, his suit... <laughs> Oh my gosh, Saul Goodman. In his suit. In his suit. I love you in front of the Constitution. <laughs> Who? What? Huh? The Constitution? Who's she? <laughs> uh, I w could there be one piece of lead in here? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for answering my prayers. We're gonna end up needing a lot of materials to build uh, the Cyclops. Um, but right now we're gonna get the base first so we can park the Cyclops next to it when we get it. You know? And not run into the base with the Cyclops. Exactly. Exactly. More left? Damn it. Well, I won't say no to gold. They're a dear friend of mine and a precious mineral. I can trade them to just people all around the world in exchange for goods and services. Why are you trading gold? <laughs> goods and services! Juice, I'm sorry. If I don't give this gold to someone right now, I might not make it through the winter. I'm in a new continent and fucking... <laughs> I don't know how to grow crops. <laughs> The new continent is Australia. I don't think you can grow crops. <laughs> there, oh, there's edible food to be grown in the outbacks of Australia. It would be hard, yeah, absolutely. Which is why I need to, you know, ask for help. But You could ask for help from gold, but, you know, you sold it. Yeah. For goods and services. Yeah, what you gonna do about it, huh? Nothing. Seems like it. You're talking a lot of I, shit for someone in dick-sucking range. I would never. One. <laughs> Two, my car can't go across the ocean, so I can't do anything. Like, I know anything about farming. That's why I'm trading you. <laughs> I can't stress this enough. Gold, you You're are. Sell your daughter. You are the medium through which I will obtain farming knowledge from someone else. You don't have to help with the farming. You literally have to sit there and look pretty. <laughs> so that way when I'm like, hey, I'll give you this in exchange for farming knowledge, they're like, yes, please. I like your cool rock girl. And I'm like, thank you. She's actually more of a heavy metal fan, but we'll let it slide. <laughs> yeah, toss you out a window. You can try. I'm big though. I have dead spells. <laughs> I have the strength of two men. That's not a lot, <laughs> so I wouldn't even brag it's about that. It's not a lot, but it is enough to pick you up, so... Fucking... I have the strength of <laughs> two and a half men. Like, like... Like two guys and then half a guy? No, I have a DVD box set of a mediocre sitcom at best. <laughs> Starring Charlie Sheen. <laughs> I'm gonna throw it at you. <gasps> no, not the whole box set. Whole box set. Aren't there like ten seasons? <laughs> Several seasons. Uh. Boots da, boots da, da, boots da, boots da, ba, boo, ba, da. A moon pool fragment would be kind of cool. <laughs> I just realized we're just gonna be a tube of people. Tube. Oh no. Do you not have a multi purpose room? No, I have to go to the island for that. <laughs> so we okay. might credit, but not but not right now. 
Tube people doing tube things. Oh no. What's up? Your whole string. Yeah, that'll happen. Oh no, your oxygen. That'll also happen. Trying to live underwater and whatnot. Just like the whales. <laughs> Not the whales! Also, I want this one. I want it now, Daddy. Daddy, I want it now. You will get nothing. Damn it. You've been a bad child. No, Father. Please. Oh, no. Uh, deconstruct. I don't want you. <laughs> I didn't want this child. Okay. Okay. It's kind of coming together. We're get. We're 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 beginning. We're beginning. The the, you know, the the early stages of what it takes to live on the ocean floor. Oh, that's pretty you neat. Get to make a door. Well, I need. I'm going to. What I'm going to absolutely need, power first. If you don't know, Juice, if you don't have power in your base, you will start suffocating. <laughs> yeah, but you can't get in the base without a door. I oh, Juice, <laughs> breathing first. Yes. Door later. <laughs> I'll get in if no door. <laughs> she said, I don't care if it's currently filled with poisonous gas. Door, <laughs> now! Carbon dioxide? Weak. Who's she? Door? Forever! <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're gonna go back to the base real quick. Brief that. Hello, sir. I love you. He's so large and friendly. He, yes. I can't believe this, this pig is scared of his kind. By his kind, I literally just mean any big, friendly sea creature. The pig is right to be afraid of him. <laughs> Why? Large. <laughs> I... What? <laughs> Excuse me? Yes? Pig have fear of very, very big things. Yeah. Stop it. No. Simply, um, don't. <laughs> You're lucky he's asleep right now. <laughs> You're your ass. You're lucky my dad's asleep right now. He needs it. He works hard. My mom loves him. <laughs> I imagine it's automated. Those people are dead. <laughs> I'm trying to get submersible support. Leave me alone. <laughs> you should be trying to get water. Oh, well, I'm working on that too. Do you know how hard it is to get submersibles and water at the same time? Potable water specifically. They don't actually often mix. If if we could put submersibles in potable, we well, shouldn't put submersibles in potable water, because then you could just drink the water away. <laughs> you wouldn't need a submersible. I think about it. Why do you have to go swimming in the lake when you can just go? Disease. <laughs> no, it's fine. I don't think we should have lakes on basis of mosquito. Think about it. <laughs> I would, I would like to submit we destroy the water cycle to get rid of mosquitoes specifically. It would get rid of a lot of other things. <laughs> it would get, but it would get rid of mosquitoes. <laughs> You're not wrong. 
I guess. Yeah, I know I'm not wrong. <laughs> That's why I said it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but I'm sorry my British came out. I don't think you are sorry. I'm a little sorry. I'm I'm sorry the Hasbro board game, <laughs> which I've never played before. I don't even know why You've I have never to apologize. Sorry. I don't know why I have to apologize for shit. <laughs> Leave me alone. So I'm bringing sorry the board game to your house, and we're going to play it for four hours. No, oh, okay. We should do a board game stream one one day. So, like we've done Monopoly before, obviously, but I think it would be fun to do wild board games. We could, we could. I would do. Like I've spoken before about how I kind of prefer, um, like official releases of different board games in into video format, just because I think typically I like the UI and stuff better there. Um. But with that in mind, uh, if I was going to do a lot of board games one night with friends, I would definitely be like, okay, tabletop simulator. <laughs> and then we flip the table. Yeah. Well, that's typically why I don't like to play <laughs> tabletop simulator, but go off. Table hole. I like tabletop simulator. To me, the reason I don't play it as much as I, I would play, like, something uh, like a, you know, Uno, the official release of Uno or what have you, is because Tabletop Simulator is, like, the pure distillment of that uh, moment when you're playing a board game with friends and family, and you drop a piece and you can't fucking find it, so you just go looking everywhere, and then you finally find it, and then you just have to carefully put it back on the board. <laughs> You get what I'm saying? No. I, I, I just think it's, it can be awkward and, and clunky um, at times. Oh, for sure. In a, in a way that real board games aren't even. <laughs> Read back. Real board games can be clunky. They can be, but not like all the time forever <laughs> as you're playing them. Um, yeah, you're right. More clunky. Like, if I want to make a pretend fuss over my board game in real life, I'd kind of bang the table and it's like, ah, if someone does that in Tabletop Simulator, all the pieces go flying in such a way <laughs> that it's just like, oh my lord, it's ruined! <laughs> we might as well just start over! What's the fucking point? And we're playing Settlers of Catan, and so starting over means another three hours <laughs> The Settler of Catan, like, a role-playing game a la D&D, &D, except instead of, like, people, you're doing civilizations. Speaking of... No! Oh. Is that civilization? <laughs> yes. Speaking of... <laughs> oh my goodness, that island really popped out of nowhere. I love popping! Also, I keep letting my phone close, so... I don't know what meat clip, but I'm sure it's good. Meat's pretty good at clipping. Listen, I decided it'd be good to come here. Fucking... She's talking about underwater as we're looking at an island with a lot of biodiversity in it. <laughs> yeah, with with the ship heading, with the pod heading towards this way. And, and, and not having explored this direction, I figured it was a good time. Let's let's see what what this mysterious island has to. I like that book. Mysterious <laughs> island has to offer. I think I've told this story before, but my favorite book of all time is Twenty Thousand Leagues Under the Sea, and uh, Mysterious Island is the pseudo sequel to it. Um, but with that being said, the first time I read it was from my school library, which had a specific new translation. Part part of the new translation being that one of the characters name was slightly different so when i would try to go looking at it for bookstores like in middle school when i would get to a bookstore like i'd be like this is wrong i don't like it like this way and also it had original drawings from the original publication so i was like i want all that um so then i just asked my school's librarian it's like can i buy this one 
And she was like, I will order you a identical copy. And I was like, good enough for me. Hmm, <laughs> disease. Did you ever disease? Uh, not for a while. I have a pretty strong immune system. TBH. How could you? <laughs> How could I, I have a his ass. How could I have strong immune system? Yeah. Um genetics playing in mud as a kid. <laughs> uh playing in mud. Yeah. I'll do it. The explanation. You say that as if many people haven't kind of spouted the 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 values of letting your kids, you know. <laughs> fuck around in in dirt <laughs> when they're young. Look, fucking around in dirt is good for you. Yeah, it is. Not, it's not. Don't get a vaccine. Good for you. <laughs> in fact, you should yeah, no. before doing that. But also, do both. Because yeah. you're young, so you can get hurt, and it's okay. That's how that works. Let your kid eat sand. I the Gossy voice log number Integrating two, Storm. New PDA data. Number one, Maroon. Integrating new PDA data. Ultra glide fins. I would like that actually. You can swim better. I can swim. I can speak Swahili. <laughs> What's the thing in a? And he, the, the key to speaking Swahili isn't learning a new language, it's simply following up all S sounds with, <laughs> with, with an H sound. Not a lot of people know that. Because it's not true. It's true. It's not. Okay. Inventory full purple tablet. Inventory full purple tablet. Also, they added purple new tablet. rooms since I've last played this, which is... Pretty interesting. I did not realize I can add a large room as opposed to a fucking <laughs> as opposed to a micro room. <laughs> Which are fine. Micro rooms are fine. <laughs> but I'd like a large room. X is gonna give it to me. I hope he gives me a good blueprint for my Subnautica playthrough. <laughs> Uh, if y'all are keeping up with like this my my website and my comic projects, you know I'm starting a new thing with a uh, fossil boy who I experimented with stuff with before, um, which has kind of evolved into a wall of brother comics I'm much more proud of. Um, but it occurred to me, you know that scene in the Transformers Rise of the Beast where Bumblebee jumps out of an airplane and he shoots a lot. And I was like, a oh, fossil boy can do that. Because he has two lasers on both of his hands. He's, and also, he's immune to all fall damage. <laughs> Fun fact about Fossil Boy. He is made of such a material that no amount of energy or, or pressure can break him in any way. You have other things? Oh, yeah. Yeah, lost man. I think if you type exclamation point site or comic or whatever, actually the comic link probably doesn't work because I linked it to one I deleted. So oh, that's exactly what I was going for. Meat. But yeah, lost medic. I'm not called Cahill Comics for no reason. <laughs> I do things. This island is a godsend. Look out of the window. No predators. Fresh food. No building materials, nothing left of the ship. And your kid says we're gonna starve without more grow beds. Speak up, kid. It's true, father. The natural growth rates are too slow to keep supporting us. All I'm saying is oceans got us surrounded. No use hiding. Sooner or later, we'll get our feet wet. The rest of your life may have been a fight made up, but I've made my decision. You wanna forfeit your emergency pay to take a swim? Go ahead. Believe me, I'm thinking of it. 
that Scottish man was focused about paychecks more than he was uh, surviving. <laughs> you want to die and not get paid? I would rather just <laughs> live, period, whether or not I get paid. Frankly. Or whatever. Or, or whatever. Return from the deep. Yeah, I'm not gonna... Uh... I'm not, I'm not exactly about to, uh, I'm not going to read all the Degrassi logs right now. Definitely at some point. Maybe next stream. Just because I genuinely just don't feel like, <laughs> I just don't want to right now. What, what are your commands? What's up? I don't know. Hello? What's up? What have you been typing? Give me your move up. S-word. <laughs> I'll do it myself. Eh. If people want to see my shit, give me a second. I'll just link it, and I'll do- and I'll edit Moobot tomorrow, I will. Sorry. I honestly, I probably should give Juice the Moobot password, but... Right now. There. You want to see stuff I'm working on. Look at that. Have fun. Be safe. Use a condom. <laughs> I, I should try boba tea at some point especially since we have one or two friends who <gasps> swear by it but I don't know much like ramen it's something where it's like I'd like to go to a place where they serve a real good version of it so that way I know whether or not I truly like or dislike it if that makes sense. Also, we're gonna take the potatoes. Stick to my Irish root. Ow. <laughs> the Tektites don't like Irish people. <laughs> it's like 1920s America all over again here. There were Tektites in 1920s America? <laughs> I mean, not quite where I was going with that, but sure. Oh my goodness. I'm just gonna... there. Stop falling asleep, phone. I have stream to do. And granted, I'm not the most active streamer. I don't necessarily need to be watching my chat 24-7. But I don't like logging out. I don't like you falling asleep trying to look at a message I see in OBS. Only for... to open up my phone again and it's not there because you were asleep. <gasps> you bitch. I lost the hacks. And right on it you see that's the thing right i i have tried the packet one and they're fine but i would legitimately like like to you know have cooked ramen <laughs> which yeah, goes against the raw nature of it all but still the raw man <laughs> the raw man no i don't want the raw man raw i want the raw man cooked by raw man chef <laughs> You probably could have told a younger, <laughs> younger me who went to hibachi places with family a lot that those were just raw, <laughs> that they were called ramen uh, restaurants and I'd be like, you're right, the men are right there, raw and ready. <laughs> oh, raw and ready. They do cool tricks. They practice their craft. My family is going on a trip soon, and I'm using it as an opportunity to order myself some stuff from a Chinese place I like. That I was going to do when I was dog-sitting a while ago. But they didn't deliver to the place I was dog-sitting at. So I had to be like, dang it. And then, you know. Now, now this is my second and maybe last opportunity. <laughs> and eat it with a condom. Lori, can you imagine just <laughs> a condom filled with ramen noodles, just packed to the brim with them? No. Use it like no. a filet. <laughs> no. no. I wonder how many street-level criminals would just disengage from any fight if you whipped out a <laughs> condom filled with ramen instead of using it like a flail. 
How many muggers and drug dealers would be like, you know what? Actually, I don't care anymore. I'm gone. <laughs> This is not at all what I do, what I deal with. <laughs> this is simultaneously above and below my pay grade. <laughs> Game Grumps uploaded a, uh, a, a sausage making video for their 10 minute power hour recently that I watched and, and, and similarly when Dearest Unis Honest was a channel, they did a thing. And it's so weird where sausage is made in sleeves. Sleeves of sausage. <laughs> I don't like that. Like, already, the, the, the idea of sausage, many people find disconcerting and not cool. Knowing that it's wrapped in something that if you don't look at these videos, you may not even know about is probably worse. Because isn't the oh, idea that the... Know. Is the casing supposed to be? I don't really eat sausage a lot. I'll eat a hot dog, but those are different. Oh. But is uh, well, it... <laughs> same shape, meat, <laughs> meat in shape. Yeah, it's a meat. It's a shape. But all sausages are wrapped in intestine. Well, not all sausages. Like the good, not cheap. That's ones. what that I thought was a like a legitimately like a thin plastic, too thin to notice. No, it's intestine lining. That's weird and gross. Oh, okay. I will not be apologizing. No, so do I, did I get lithium out of my thing? If not, we can just do it. How much copper do we have? I mean, not copper. Okay, we have enough titanium to make that. And then hopefully also enough to, um, to, to make power rooms and what have you but traditionally it is gotcha i mean that's both gross and clever because like on one hand intestines as long as they don't have anything in them you know from <laughs> from the procurement process are just meat so so putting you know just just grind it meat in there and cooking it just makes it one whole blend it cookage of, of, of meat of some kind which is all a gross way to phrase it but there there's no there's no cooking process that involves stuffing meat that isn't a little gross in concept if not in execution as well so what are you gonna do really get sad and not eat sausages What's that? What? Okay. We are now going to put a general room. Uh, I would like to do a big room at some point, but that'll be later. Maybe we can, maybe if we can connect it like going out this way, that'd be cool. The glass room would also be pretty cool. I think it's beautiful myself, and you're entitled to think that. Absolutely. Um, it may be prudent to separate work and leisure spaces to maximize productivity. I know this isn't my first. This is my first rodeo building a survival base. I spent a crazy weekend in Vegas, <laughs> camped out in one of the casinos for several days. And they let you do it until you started stinking so much. No, they get it. I just killed any employees who came across me. You did what? <laughs> I killed any employees who came across me. I'm not afraid to say it. Vegas is a legally gray area. I'll never be prosecuted. <laughs> Concern. I was I was reminded of the of the murder zone in the United States recently, which is fun, but also not completely disingenuous of what it is, because it's a thing about Yellowstone National Park, um, where it, 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 it crosses over into another state very briefly. And in that place, um, even if people live there, which they might not, um, 
if you commit a crime there, you are like technically on paper, they would not be able to assemble a jury of your peers. That that's the keyword. Like someone living like they anyone living there does not fit the qualification of peer in the legal sense. So no matter the crime on paper, they technically would not be able to assemble a jury and thus uh, execute you. But of course, that's not how that works. <laughs> they would absolutely just be like, fucking, you murdered someone. <laughs> You're going to jail. Okay. This is good. We're gonna, we're going to have power, which means I can then uh, breathe, which is just, just fantastic, just dandy. I think. <laughs> I think breathing is cool and great. That breathing thing. <laughs> I mean, I say that, but like, in Dragon Ball, you have both Cell and Frieza whose evolutionary process has made it so they don't need to breathe at all and thus can survive in the vacuum of space. And honestly, I think that sounds cooler <laughs> when I think about it. Not re not having to worry about going, <gasps> oh, <laughs> sounds really cool. Especially since I have asthma, <laughs> so. It'd be hard for an asthmatic bitch out here. <laughs> That's what my Just doctor would tell me. Away. Oh. <laughs> they would also tell me that. <laughs> be like, dude, put your asthma away. Come on now. <laughs> it's inappropriate to whip your asthma out in here. <laughs> I'm also gonna need to find, uh, I need to see, I have, I've been lacking on grabbing any quartz, so I haven't really needed glass for much, but I could use glass and quartz now, so. Chat, let me know if you see it. <laughs> Do you know Spanish for quartz? Me neither. <laughs> so you could tell me basically anything, and I believe you. Also, what's in here? Because I might have a uh, little quartz. <laughs> well, that's good. Good start. Good start. Asthma in 2024. Just fucking, <laughs> just fucking breathe it. Just fucking breathe. Five head. Have you tried Open breathing? <laughs> Moron. Yeah, no wonder your doctor doesn't care about it. I don't care about it either. Maybe <laughs> you should just learn to breathe. <laughs> just breathe. It'll be okay. Hallelujah. Just breathe. Let that record say it. Oh, hey. I didn't mention this. So, before stream started, I figured out that um, the office chair I was using at my desk is definitely just broken at this point. Um, so I have a folding chair, which is actually kind of better for posture sitting in it. Like that was the thing that was broken, the back of my chair. So this is better for that, but still hurts my ass a little bit. But I do also want to clarify. I mentioned fucking up the, that first order we got on Throne, but I have fixed that issue. Uh, not necessarily gotten the package, but <laughs> fixed in that it won't happen again. So I hope if you're like, I would I would get you something on Throne, Kahil, but I just don't trust you. I mean, that's fair, but also, I, I, the same, at least the same mistake won't be made twice. <laughs> Different mistake, maybe, always a possibility. <laughs> we have to recognize that. I might not be stupid in the same way ever again, but I will be stupid in a different way <laughs> soon. 
don't fart. Not in an enclosed space like the ocean. <laughs> I remember um, I, was, I was listening to my brother, my brother, and me. And and I think Justin McElroy, the oldest brother, made a very good point about ocean life, which is when you're looking at scary fish from under the sea that so many people will tend to be afraid of. Um, an important thing to remember is that they live in such a different environment and would be as dead <laughs> coming up to the surface as you would be going down there that they might as well just live on a different planet and you should never have to worry about them ever, even if you go into the ocean. And I think that's a that's legitimately a pretty good point. <laughs> it's like, you know what? Yeah, <laughs> they kind of do just live somewhere I will never go. Definitely not in, not in a way that I could interact with them, you know? Welcome aboard, Captain. If I went, like... If I go to, to where they live, one of us will be dead, <laughs> so. We might as well just never see each other ever. Might as well just not know that we exist. Uh, yeah, I'll put one. I'll put one there. Be sure to reinforce your walls, folks. It's fucking... <laughs> It's rhinoceros mating season out there. Oh no. <laughs> so all of you people who, you know, are afraid of a rhinoceri uh, knocking down your door, be sure. Something I'm curious about this game but never one answered is the nature of resources. Like, do they resupply at what rate, etc., etc.? Because that is kind of a question that called forth by the plot in multiple instances. Heck, we just saw something like that in, in the audio log that played from the Degasi crew. So. But again, I rather just that just kind of be a background thing for me as I'm playing this rather than be like I'm, I gotta look it up tell me please <laughs> I mean in terms of building material from the fucking Aurora we might as well have infinite you know <laughs> like it's, it's a terraforming ship and we're the sole survivors of it and we have like a molecular rearranger with us fucking we, we theoretically have enough materials to just to build a small city <laughs> and we might but that's for lame I need titanium I am titanium bulletproof nothing that goes <laughs> yeah you're the one I keep saying every time I mention the resource in Subnautica yeah that one exactly wow wow oh Thank you. I would love it if they can. I know this game, the, the devs have moved on to like sequels to this game and have nothing to do with Nintendo necessarily. But can we get Beetle patched into Subnautica selling you resources going <laughs> underwater? I want him to be like, <laughs> I would like him to be like the, the sea treaders though. Like, he's not in aquatic gear. He's just trudging along the bottom of the ocean. Beetle. Oh, no. <laughs> Beetle's great. Much like Tingle, he survives through the ages. <laughs> if, if fucking Zelda teaches anything, is that if you want to live through fucking world-changing eras... <laughs> You you had you gotta be a weirdo. I want this to be a good placement. Oh my goodness, I forgot what button it was. I'll put it right there. And then from here we have a second fabricator. And I can make myself some water now. Wait, I can't 
What am I missing? Oh, wait, no, I, I can make myself bleach and make water. Because, again, that is how that works. As we all know. <laughs> that was one of Jesus' miracles. <laughs> Damn it, I've gotten back on the youth pastor stuff. <laughs> we can't keep this up. You'll never defeat the youth pastor. <laughs> You'll never stop being aware youth pastor. <laughs> When anyone mentions a, a topic, a, a, a modern topic, you just relate it to Jesus. It's involuntary. <laughs> I'm starting to turn. <laughs> Juice, what, tra what traditional Western monster are you most attracted to? The snake people. Oh, you know, that's kind of a, a more like niche one. I'll say, I'm not going to say it doesn't fit the the category I set for you. I just think it's interesting. That's the one you chose. You know? I had to think about it. Because I was I, like, obviously the top of my list of like what qualifies in that category is like Frankenstein, Dracula. Um, oh. Yeah, but no, snake people count. There are there are plenty of accounts of of snake men hybrids that I'm not about to be like no it has to be the cat it has to be what I was thinking of. you know the worst kind of person to play with I think they're fun in small doses <laughs> I I love pedantic people. I am pedantic myself, so... We all have a little pedanticide <laughs> in each of us. Snitties indeed. Snitties indeed. Oh, this is just one glass each? That's fantastic. That's amazing. I love, love that for me. It. You love that to, for me. You love that too. It it decreases my hall strength, but who cares? It looks pretty. Look at this. We have enough for. Wait. Also, I I mean I wasn't about to ask. Do we have enough glass for another thing? I don't I don't think we do. I think the game's just being being yeah <laughs> being mean right now. Um. Also, actually, how about? Oh, we can put a. Uh, we could. I I would like to actually install one of these the bulwark Ye oh no we need silicon silicon rubber why <laughs> explain oh but we can have a bioreactor maybe I'll put that like word maybe I could put it in the corner I don't know it wouldn't be hard I would it like I would like a bed <laughs> though we have enough for a bed. Is beds are just titanium, right? Please, fiber mesh. Is that? You no, know, for the bed part. <laughs> I mean, you're right. We're right, and they should say it. But I don't like it. <laughs> I'll continue not to like it. I just want to sleep through the night. <laughs> I don't care. I could sleep. Heck, me, real Dylan Cahill, could sleep on the floor if he felt like it. So I don't. I don't want to hear this. You give me a good enough flat surface and, and, and a decent temperature and I will and I will simply sleep on the floor. <laughs> I will give you a futon and 70 degrees. I don't like that. Excellent. We talking like Japanese futon that that one specifically because when I when I was a kid that referred to just like a couch we had so. That's in part why I'm perfect. Then yeah, that's good enough for me. Those look fucking comfy. What's the heated table called again? If uh, Kantatsu. I I would love to get a I would love a Kantatsu one day. I would love one too, honestly. It would be so cool. 
just let him lay on the floor under my blanket table. Japan has a decent enough amount of things figured out that I am legitimately just like, yeah, <laughs> please. <laughs> Can I have that? Thank you. They have nap time at work because all their workers are overworked. That, okay, they don't have that figured out per se, <laughs> but. <laughs> but nap time at work. They have enough random things figured out to the point that I'm like, yes, please. Not everything. We have vending machines. I don't think you use because bacteria in the water. Performing a self scan is advised. Oh my lord, I don't need to perform a self scan. You're just gonna be like, oh, you're infected. And I'm like, I know. But there's not a timer in the game, so who cares? I know I'm infected. No, but you're gonna die. You're infected. All right, let's get this out of the way so when I'm changing clothes, it doesn't happen. Is this, is this happening now? No, okay, wait. Do I have to self-scan first? No. Okay. It's just, it's just being, <laughs> it's just like, remember, plot of game. And I'm like, I know, bitch, I know. What? We're begging you, think of the plot of this. Stop having fun for a minute. Start thinking about the <laughs> plot. <laughs> I'm not usually like that with games, but for Subnautica specifically. Which is part of why I didn't, I haven't played, in spite of how much I like this game, why I haven't played below zero. Also, I do need, lubricant is the fucking, is the seed clusters. So you know what, let's get that. Because, if we have an outdoor and indoor grow bed, we will have more than enough to be powering a, a bioreactor, honestly. You can't convince me otherwise. Can I convince you? No. <laughs> Stop. Oh. oh. You refuse to be... Much like someone denying, you know, global warming or a flat earther, I refuse to be convinced by evidence. <laughs> I demand you stop talking now. You should clap your cheeks now. <laughs> uh, okay, if you say so. That's from a Life Arrow video. I forget because it's uh, based on another meme where it's fucking you should kill yourself now, which don't. Um, which is why I don't say that version, <laughs> but <laughs> I think clapping cheeks is funnier anyway. But I also don't know what that original version is even from to begin with, so. It's probably like a Sonic character or something saying it, <laughs> if we're being real. It's an English dub of an anime. It is? No. Why are you lying to me? I was just making things up. I thought it was a funny joke. Do we have like a bioreactor room? Okay. Do you have a bioreactor at the foot of your bed? No, I don't want. Th it, it, it literally won't. <laughs> so I know, impossible. I just saw you placing it there. I'm like, oh, that's a great place. It, I disagree <laughs> for several reasons. <laughs> Multi-purpose glass room. Enamel glass, enamel glass, titanium. I mean, I guess we can just ha I guess we can pull it another room this way. We could, we could, you know what? We can do that. And then we can put like the lockers and stuff in there. So not necessarily a total just demolishment of the feng shui. It'll just be a far more uh, utilitarian room, which I guess some fucking snobs might consider destroy destroying of the feng shui but shut up <laughs> but the feng shui. I feng shui my way oh <laughs> I am the feng shui bender and the war when the world oh. when the world needed me most I vanished a hundred years later you'll find the new feng shui bender a, a prick named Dan. <laughs> I need, uh, fucking. I need. Uh, titanium and uh, quartz. I haven't been collecting it like crazy. Like some people, like, you know, some in some playthroughs. I was gonna say, like, some people, but I just mean in 
certain playthroughs of the game, whether you're me or someone else. <laughs> um, because we haven't been building stuff recently, but now we're building things, so. Do you like quartz in this game? Because it doesn't even necessarily look like not quartz, like what quartz looks like in real life. But at the same time, it almost glows against the background. Yeah, right there. <laughs> so, it makes me happy. That's off the good chemical. <laughs> that pretty much is how quartz is in real life. Does quartz glow in real life? Like, does it reflect if it's light? it's in a dark enough room. Damn. Oh, that's cool. So that's real life working in game. I like that. Other game devs, awesome. take notice. Oh. Of this, like, the fucking <laughs> decade old game. I looked up the Kill Yourself Now. Where is it from? It's from a screen. Don't, also, don't look it up. <laughs> don't look it up at home. It's from a screen. I, I, I try very hard to, you know do the very out to have the very opposite energy of that kind of meme but i do like the like i said i like the life arrow version where it's like you should clap your cheeks now <laughs> all right if you, say you, so. you should you should clap your ass now it doesn't pick up on the mic <laughs> you're not doing it good enough oh i didn't even know that had to be stated my mic is... It has crisp... It only detects voice. Well, then... Uh, <laughs> clap your cheeks. Like like one of those birds that mimics human voice. I hate that. I hate that prospect. Oh. What are the ones who are basically just like fucking tape recorders that play back exactly what they've heard? They're not mocking birds, <laughs> right? Mean. Yeah. They're not called mockingbirds because that would be cool too, too cool and too obvious. They're, they're called something else. Deer, deer bits knows what they're called because they did a D, D character based off them. So, and they said it, but do I remember? No. No. <laughs> no. They refuse to member. That information got lost. <laughs> and long, long ago. <laughs> In its place, small round things. <laughs> Mostly Kirby lore. Mostly Kirby lore. Mostly Kirby lore. Uh, I bet you couldn't even almost a Kirby. I w will and have and continue to Kirby. Or few. Wow. Don't you don't you dare insult me like this again. Can I put it like, I mean, I guess I could just put it here. That'd be fine. You know what, what's wrong, what's wrong with, you know, making a, making a second story where my, where my fuse box is. <laughs> then the, then the first floor can be purely feng shui. And the second floor is for, for utilitarian stuff. Not utilities, utilitarian stuff. Yeah. Actually, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna deconstruct the bed real quick. We're gonna see oh. if we can put it somewhere a bit, a bit, a bit more out the way. Can I put like the single bed right? Uh, I think this will work. I know, I'm busy tisming over, <laughs> over <laughs> base building. Leave me to my to my ways. <laughs> A woman. Is this how you are actually in real life? You what? just get too far into an activity yes. and your yes. body's like, food! Yes. Not even a question. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I see. Hey, don't cool. don't do it. it needs food. Don't do it. Don't do it, chat. Don't, don't work like me. It's bad. It's a bad idea. It is a bad idea. 
everything you see about Keiko? <laughs> okay, well, we don't need to go there. Okay, what I can do is I can grab... A, this is also what I do in real life. I get a quick snack, and then I go on to make the real meal. Which, I mean, maybe slightly better idea there. To be fair. Because at least then it's... Sir, come back. I need your meat. <laughs> your meat, sir. Sir, your meat? Also, I feel like one reason I wasn't prioritizing it on top of just base building is because once, you know, I'm able to, uh, once I'm able to get those, those grow beds going even more, then I'll have just constant supply of food, so. You can eat. I can eat all I want. As long as it's a plant. <laughs> no, no, uh, veg we're going vegetarian, guys. I can't support unsustainable farming methods. Is it really unsustainable if you're getting one fish every <laughs> one three, fish at a time? Four days. <laughs> Listen. In in this economy. <laughs> So, how would one get to your second floor? Uh, with a ladder. Oh. Which I just built. <laughs> oh, wow. And then I can... Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! I need one more titanium. Fucking, we're, we're ending stream here. <laughs> we will complete this up later. <laughs> I'm not doing more small... Oop, doop, doop, doop. <laughs> Fucking... Catch me with that later. Not tonight. Are you kidding me? Disgusting. We'll see how Vegeta's doing tomorrow, and if it's bad, then you know, we just <laughs> just do it tomorrow. But if if not, then even later than that, which I'm fine with. How dare they? How dare they make me try and go get one more titanium? Absolutely not. Okay. I'm gonna see who's live to raid. Everyone. Everyone? Literally, everyone is here? Yeah. Oh! Chat, if you have any... Any suggestions, you let me know. Metroid. Dan is playing Metroid 2. I am legitimately very curious about that. How far in he is he into stream? I like, I do like Samus Returns. We need to play more Metroid on the stream. Here's a problem though, not necessarily the most popular <laughs> game to stream. Like Super Metroid, sure. But are people turning up for Return of Samus Returns on, on the DS? No. No. You know what, we'll raid uh, Smage. He's playing with, oh, he's playing Hell Divers with Oki. Uh, they, I'm, I'm glad they have reversed their decisions, so. Uh, go go give some friends some support. I I still don't know what if they've given any updates to the to for like when Steam pulled it from certain uh certain countries, but hopefully that is a decision quickly reversed. And now that they're that at least backing out a little on their uh <laughs> on their other stupid decision. You're a funny guy and a good artist, me. I hope you have a good night, too. And thank you, Juice, for joining me. I hope to see you all tomorrow. We'll see what we're streaming. <laughs> Bye.